Today we're cooking ravioli and what better person to show us how to cook it just perfectly than Adam Swanson from Zucca. How are you going to be cooking it today? Well today I was thinking, look, beautiful ravioli filled with the beef inside. Mm. I like these nice earthy tastes of mushrooms. So you know, a bit of mushroom, cream, some lemon thyme. And then you know, get maybe some fried gnocchi mushrooms over top for a bit of a crunch. Yep. So let's get into it. Great. Pasta, San Remo Soglia. Ravioli. Now you may ask what's... Foglia. So Foglia. hard to say. <laughs> it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. The thing about this pasta is actually it's one sheet ravioli. So basically one piece of pasta, the filling inside and the sheet's just straight over the top, mm. folded okay. over. So salted water mm -hmm. and a little tip. I'll grab some salt, please. Salt. Any pasta that's got a filling inside in the casing, basically you want to bring the water to the boil and then just to a nice slow boiling water temperature. You don't want to have it too rapid. What happens is all that beautiful casing, all that beautiful filling inside splits apart and you lose it all. So it's a big waste. It's a good tip. Here's so do you want to put some you salt, salt in there? It has to taste like the sea. That's it. Almost. <laughs> so in goes the pasta. You get that going. You just give yourself a little bit of a stir there. Mm -hmm. And be gentle. All fresh pastas, especially the filling again, just be gentle with it. How long will that take to cook ravioli? Probably about 10 to 12 minutes. 10 to 12, yeah. okay. So I will put the lid on. Mm -hmm. Because the temperature has dropped with all that pasta in there, yeah. bring it up to the boil and then just nice it away. Okay, so while that's cooking, we can probably start okay. our sauce. Ingredients. So we've got some sushi lots mm -hmm. that you're going to finally dice. I'll do that. I'm just going to fry them off in some butter. And then we've got some field mushrooms. Look, if you don't like field mushrooms, you can use butter mushrooms, whatever you have in the pantry or in the fridge, obviously, whatever's floating around. I like the field because of the size of them. And then with the actual pasta, we're going to slice them nice and linked ways. Mm. We just look really nice and obviously on the palate as well. I'm even using brandy in this recipe. So the brandy works well together mm. with that mushroom earthy flavour just to give it, you know, some more depth to the dish. Get some butter. Whilst you're doing that, nice finely sliced. So we're using eschalots here. I, yeah. I love, I use them all the time because they're quite sweet and they're, you've noticed, <laughs> <laughs> in the French cooking. But um, it's, you know, it's got it more of a milder flavour than the, yeah. the onions. Yes. Is that why you brought these along I today? did. I thought, you know what, I'm going <laughs> to treat Justin likes the eschalots. <laughs> <laughs> so we just get that butter melting down. You could add some olive oil at this point. Obviously, butter has a lower burning temperature point okay. than obviously oil, olive oil, olive oil. But I want to keep it nice and buttery and rich. Mm -hmm. So cream, the boot parmesan later on. Just mm. keep it nice and you know. Rich. I guess you can mix the the butter and the oil sometimes just to make sure that you yeah. don't burn the butter. True. Mm. All right, we'll get them into there. Okay. Uh, I'll cut these for you. Please. So in they go, and just make sure you're stirring all the time. You don't want really add any colour to these shallots, you know. You just really want to keep them nice and strong. It's going to make me cry in a sec. <laughs> they were strong, weren't they? <laughs> I was crying before. It's lucky I got it over here. It's a nice fresh one. <laughs> oh, definitely. How many mushrooms would you like? Uh, Maybe we'll one do more. Three. Yeah, just do three. So look, our pasta has come back up. The water is boiling, and now just give it a soft stir. Don't want any of that fantastic filling inside there to break free. In goes the mushrooms. Might get some pepper into that now at the moment as well. The mushrooms suck up that butter straight away. Mm. They love it. They really enjoy butter. Even, you know, duck fat. If you're doing it, just maybe some French <laughs> style cooking I've seen. Around They're the just place. like sponges, aren't they? They, they just are. absorb quite a lot. They do. Mm. So also the thyme. Some now, thyme. if you don't have lemon thyme, normal thyme is fine as well, because we are going to add some lemon zest to this dish as well. How much? I'll give yeah, some. we'll go. That. And I'm just going to pull those sprigs off. Just pull it away off there. So. Mm. Now, just make sure we'll probably get another knob of butter into there if I can, Justine. Sure. Just cook them out a couple minutes, not so they're collapsing, still have a little bit of you know, crunch to them. Because I deglaze the pan with the brandy, reduce that by half. Now, take my lid off the pasta, I can see there, look, they've come to the top perfect. Drop that heat. Now, the biggest thing, people sit here and they just keep stirring and, and breaking. If you keep nudging it, that will obviously split open with too much force. So just let them go. They'll do cook themselves and they'll be perfect. Get that heat up. Some brandy, please. Brandy for you, sir. So, basically, in it goes. We just want to juice that by half. Might have a touch more. Yeah. Then we're going to add some cream. And I can smell that. Oh. The brandy works so well with the fantastic mushrooms. Mm. And that nice earthy, so aromatic yeah. smell. Done. Look at the mushrooms. They sucked it up. Some cream. Cream. 
some lemon zest as well. Probably mm -hmm. half of that lemon will zest into here. And like you said, if you did have some porcini, beautiful. But fresh flavours, lemon zest, the thyme, the mushrooms, mm. the beautiful ravioli that we're going to place into it. Drop that down. Look at that. So you need to bring that to the boil. Nice co coating consistency. So what we're talking about is so you just coat the back of the spoon, the actual sauce, and that will coat the pasta so well and work in harmony. OK, so while that's happening, Pasta's cooking. Anaki mushrooms? Yeah, so I like this dish. I like to have a bit of crunch to it. So you've got all these soft textures. So what we're going to do, we're going to fry up some anaki, just shallow fry them, just in some oil, and then we put them onto absorbent towel. Takes away all that oil, obviously. Season them up, and we finish that, the dish, with them scattered over the top. Really nice garnish. Yeah. Yeah, great. Okay, so look, our sauce is basically at that consistency, coating the back of the spoon. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Switch the heat off. Mm. Check our pasta. So they've flowed to the top. Look at that, no case is split. Perfect, exactly the way we want it. So we'll strain that off. My portable sink. Fantastic. <laughs> Get a bit of a facial happening here. <laughs> yes, same. Ah. <Hey>. Sauna. <laughs> Turn the heat off there. Look, and make sure you strain off all the excess liquid. Into the pan. Enough for our serve, enough for us? Yeah. yeah. And then look, just literally just flick them around. Made a bit of mess. What I will do, because there's still a bit of water on there, just heat them up a bit more. If it does, it's sort of little pockets there, so you do, do really do need to strain it yeah. quite well. And if you, you know, you really should let it sit for a couple minutes, just let it, you know, get all that excess liquid out. Mm. But another little tip is so if it's got a bit of water into it, just cook that a little bit more. So we'll just add a little bit of parmesan to help thicken that and enrich in the sauce. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And so when? I like my parmesan. Me too, that's why. <laughs> Good. Keep Thank going. You. Smell that lemon zest too, obviously mm. with the thyme working well. Spoon. Look at the fried little gnocchis there. Lovely, nice and crisp, nice little garnish. And look, beautiful San Remo Soglia ravioli. And just taking your time uh, reducing that sauce has yeah. made a difference because it's coating every single path. Exactly right. Uh, piece of uh, ravioli there. Perfect, and the smell is amazing. Yeah. So it's beautiful. Mushrooms on top. Do you want me to garnish with? Yes, please do. So just a nice little bundle? Yeah. Or just scattered? Yeah, scattered it around. Scattered? scattered it around. Look, look, just different texture. and just gives it that little extra element to the dish. Mm. Take that to your dinner table with all your guests around. They'll love it. Nice little different element. So delicious. And look, let's have a try of this. Yes. This pasta. Oh, little soft pillows. Yeah. Beautiful. Get that refreshing lemon zest. Mm. Mm. That little bit of brandy makes a difference too. Sure does. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs>